What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. We are enjoying a beautiful day out here in the park. Right now, what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about budget knives. Now, I share a lot of knives on this channel that are not budget-friendly. I happen to collect knives, and that means that my collection tends to lean into the super steels and titanium and crushed carbon fiber. Stuff like this, which we will review later. This is the Kevin John Venom Harpoon. This is M390 and all titanium. It is crushed carbon fiber. It is, it's about 330 bucks really is what it is. This is a great knife, but you don't always want that. I don't always want that. And I certainly don't recommend that to my friends, particularly people who aren't that into knives. So what do I recommend? Well, for a long time, what I recommended for years was something like the Rat Model 1. This is a perfect pocket knife in many ways, but the blade is OS8, and I've had to sharpen this thing over and over and over again because OS8 just doesn't really hold an edge very well. On the other hand, this is the Ganzo FH11. This is about a year and a half old. This is an excellent knife, and it is D2, it is bearings, it is G10, it has a nice factory deep carry clip. The action on this thing <laughs> is absolutely something else. This is so good. And it's about 30 bucks. Well, so is the Rat 1. But the blade steel, that D2 by Ganzo here, is superior. And look, I'm no metallurgist. I couldn't tell you if the HRC is right on any one of my knives based on what, except for what I've read and seen, because I don't hard use my knives that much, but I do use them. This knife and I have been camping and hiking and backpacking and outdoors. We've been to picnics. We've been everywhere and anywhere you could want to go. I have used it from everything from food prep to packages. Now, D2 is not notoriously good for being rust resistant, but I have had this thing in all sorts of weather conditions. It has never given me an ounce of trouble as long as I give it just a little bit of maintenance and care. It holds an edge spectacularly well for a budget knife. I've used this thing for harder uses than I probably should have, and it continues to hold an edge. Now, I've had to strop it a few times. Oh, it's really nice and sharp. But compared to this one, the amount of time that this is actually spent on a sharpening stone, or in my case, a sharpening belt, is way less. Well, let's leave this out here for a minute, so we'll do the size comparison in just a second. Look, Ganzo makes excellent budget knives. I know the company has a bit of a reputation. They broke their... They cut their teeth, as it were, on clones and on homages, and that's problematic for a lot of people, and I get that. But in the last couple of years, they have decided, and powerfully so, to make knives for themselves that are wholly unique to the company. And what they did is they brought all of the technology and art and science that they used making homages into these unique knives to the company, and they have done a stellar, stellar job. When I recommend knives to friends, as I said, it used to be stuff like the Rat 1, but now I almost exclusively, particularly for not knife people, someone who just needs a good pocket knife, I really, really, really push these Ganzo knives. I love this thing. It is comfortable in my hand. It is great for push cuts. It has just enough belly up here at the top that's marvelous for draw cuts. The way they shape this swedge into it that flares up here at the tip means the tip of this knife is nice and strong. This is, by any measure, an excellent knife, and it's about 30 bucks. You cannot go wrong. Now, for some of you who have a collection that is closer to mine, this may not be the knife for you. But even those of you that have two and three and five and thousand dollar knives, I'll bet you've got friends and family that don't. And if you're looking for a knife that may very well push them over into knife fandom, some, a knife that may drive them into wanting to know more and have better knives. This is an excellent, excellent choice. I've had many budget knives come and go, but I always keep this one and a few of the other Ganzos around because I never know when I'm going to need to be out somewhere where I don't want to take... Oh, it's still got a little stuff in the handle. <laughs> where I don't want to take the risk of damaging or losing one of my more expensive knives. I've got heavy-duty work knives that fill the void excuse me, that fill the space of this one pretty well, excuse me, uh, things like this, which we'll do a review on later. This, of course, is the Cold Steel Code 4. You know, 
my knife collection has gotten to a point where these don't get as much carry time as they used to, but I still keep them around. They are phenomenal for the money. And that action, again, is just about the best you're going to find. And at that price, like I have knives that cost 10 times what this thing cost that don't have an action that is this smooth. <laughs> it's really very good. So if you're looking for a budget knife for yourself or for a friend or just to have around, there are a million choices. And of course, you're going to make your own. But if you ask me, this Ganzo, particularly the FH11, is a fantastic way to go. They're available on Amazon. They're available almost everywhere. You could have one in a couple of days, and they really are worth having. I love this thing. Clearly. I mean, I hope it's coming through. I love it for what it is, and I kind of love it for what it isn't. It isn't a fancy, super steel, expensive knife. It is just a really well-made, useful, budget blade, and that, to me, means that it is worth more than the price that it costs. Anyway, if you have any questions about this Ganzo or any of the knives that you've ever seen on my channel, feel free to ask down in the comments below. It's been nice having you here. If you have subscribed already, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd love to have you here on a regular basis. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.